Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to No One Survived. So it's day seven of year three, and today I would like to do three things. The first is going to be fairly quick because I've done all the work already. We are going to go into fuel production. Now, the next thing I want to do has to do with my education. I have a deficiency that I cannot handle at the moment, and that is tailoring. Fortunately, there is a merchant on the map that can help me. Unfortunately, it's in a very ugly place, especially from where we're starting. You see, I'm talking about the merchant that's up here. Now, it's right next to a POI that would normally be good. Unfortunately, on this map, it is not. However, it does have a very specific feature. There is a crawler, and I will probably have to take that crawler out just to be safe. So what I'm going to do is we're going to drive up here. Well, I'm going to drive up here. You're going to magically teleport over here because we're going to drive by this port. We'll take a quick look at it to see if we want to do something with that in the future. It is a bit far away. Once we get into this area here, we'll join because I'm going to do this by myself. And then we're going to drop by this merchant. I don't even remember what that merchant sells. I spawned up there, and I actually spawned inside the POI fence, which was a little weird, but, you know, it's a range thing. And then we're going to do our business up here. We're going to do a whole bunch of training. I do need to get up to training uh, by for uh, tailoring, and I'm just not going to even mess with the books. I got so many sellables that it's not even funny. Now, after that, I think I would like to do a little bit of more exploration. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down this way, and we're actually going to take a quick look at one of the sites of the oil wells that I dismissed. And maybe you'll get an idea why I dismissed it. If for no other reason, it's not really in a great place. This is actually a better place, but there are other reasons. Now, I'm very interested about this. We might be stopping in there to take a look around, unless something else piques our interest in the meantime. All right, so that is the plan for today. So let's begin with fuel production. Now, I have been busy mostly with steel. As a matter of fact, because of the work I've been doing with steel, I have an iron deficiency. Now, I have done something about that. See, I got five here, but not really a lot more. I think I needed 15 of these. So let's grab six there. All right, so that's what I needed over here. Right, you notice there's no iron here. However, I think it was... I think it was 13 because I had two steel in my inventory when we did this. All right, let's just take care of this first. And I have put a little storage rack over here. Um, I put some of the oil in here. I didn't open the big bag. There didn't seem to be a reason to. You're going to see what I mean in a moment. Uh, matter of fact, I should probably be holding those. And this was the extra fuel that I had at the base, including some of what we picked up at the gas station on the way back in the last episode. Um, two of those barrels I put into the fuel generator because I really want to get going with the uh, battery charging, especially when we start using this. All right, so let's do this. Boom. All right, now I need to hook this up to electricity. Primary power. Right, and as you can see, 3,000 watts. Yeah, this one is going to require power. All right, let's put the oil in. Now here you can make uh, alcohol, you can make plastic, you can make rubber. Um, I basically have enough of these. I don't have to worry about it. Then you can make small fuel bottles or you can make the larger ones. The thing is, this is made up of the small ones, 10 of them. So this is really what we want to do. And that's what we're going to do. So nine, nine, and five. Nine, nine, and five. Now, pay attention to how slow this is moving. I, I, I think I see some blue. Yeah, this is a very time-consuming process. And, of course, it's going to be consuming power all the time. So we're just going to let that go. It's the reason that I wasn't in a hurry to get the rest of the oil up here. I don't know. I might bring the bag up. It depends. Unfortunately, I do seem to remember putting it into a hiking bag. And those are very, very precious. All right, so uh, that's... Oh, I want to see what I was going to get. See, I'm going to need a lot of selling stuff, and I'm also going to need some mood stuff, so I'm just going to take... I'm going to take that with me. I'm running out of reasons to actually need it. All right, I think the food should handle me. 
But I'm thinking in terms of selling, I want to get rid. Oh, no. Where did those come from? Okay, I don't even remember putting them in there. I want to get rid of these. I have a lot, and I mean a lot of sellables in the bag. But I want to get rid of these because they take up a lot of space. Yeah, I didn't realize that I had put, where is it, some of those in there. All right, so let's go. By the way, I did go to the, um, the ore field. I really went there to get silver, but I grabbed a bunch of iron anyway. Yeah, it turns out it's probably a good idea. As a matter of fact, here, put another one of those on the end. Because at the moment, this is my iron, and I really need to get going with it. Uh, I made a lot of bricks, as you can see. There was a couple of iron in there. See, it's currently working on that, so I do have some there, too. Uh, a lot of aluminum. I'm finishing up what was in the bag. And then we got copper, and a lot of aluminum, and a lot of copper. So I won't have to go back there anytime soon. Okay, so here is the plan once again. We're here. I am going to drive all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And we'll probably pick it up around here unless something interesting happens along the way. And from there, we'll take a look at the port and mostly we'll go over to this merchant. I think I'm going to have to look for the crawler first, though, because I just don't want it sneaking up on me. You know, it moves fast. See, you can hear one of the zombies coming your way, so it doesn't really sneak up on you. But the crawler moves so fast that I'm just going to have to deal with that. After that, we're going to go looking around. If there's nothing interesting in here, we'll check this out. We can always do that in the future. All right, so let's go. Because I have a long ride ahead of me. But for you, it's going to be very, very quick. How quick? Well, shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. As you can see, we are approaching the port here. I mean, it's still big. It's just not gigantic like the others. And it does seem to be more dense. Oh, there's actually a gas station there, too. All right, that might be worth a visit one of these days. It kind of looks like the same layout to a degree of the one that's near us. Or maybe it has uh, the same kind of quality of stuff. Of course, this one does also have a gas station, too. It's a shame we can't have that. That would be cool. All right, so we're looking for a road on our left, right up here. So let's get this over with as quickly as possible. I am going to want to grab a few other items from my bags because I don't think that the documents are going to do the job. Right, okay, so can I, I see a rail, that's a big problem. All right, uh, where is, how far does this go down? Okay, it goes down over here. All right. Oh, is that a little road? I guess maybe I'm seeing something that I want to see. All right, let's get up here. The problem is that we are going to pull. I know it's up here somewhere. Okay, I see it over here. All right, um, I'm thinking the first thing I need to do is go over and uh, handle some issues that might arise. All right, we'll stop right in here. All right, um, I'm just not even gonna go um, halfway with this. We're just gonna go full shoddy. Like I said, okay, we got uh, we got some zombies. We're just I'm looking at the ground. Oh, you see what I'm looking at? Right there. He's right there. Oh. Okay, hold on a minute here. Okay, none of your calling stuff. Okay, here he comes. Or is he trying to figure out how to get to me? Hold on. Okay, there he is. Maybe if I go on the road... Because I want the full 12 shots, just in case things don't go terrifically. 
Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. I missed shot there. There we go. Nothing quite like point blank range. And he has one piece of fabric. Isn't that just wonderful? And what's what's up with you guys? You know what? Not my problem. My problem has been handled. It's like I said, the other zombies, you know, they make noise, they scream at you and such like that. But uh, the uh, crawler can be on you very quickly. So that's just the reason I wanted to get rid of him. Yeah, one of the times where I was testing and I spawned up here, I spawned inside the fence. It was a little scary because of these guys over here. All right, I think they are trying to get to me. I'm wondering if I can get far enough away that they'll just forget about me. I'll sneak. Shh, don't say anything. Oh, are you another farming one? All right, first things first. Let's get rid of this stuff, and then we'll see what... Actually, I shouldn't get rid of all of it, though. All right, first things first. Uh, what do you got? Okay, so you have two lambs and a piglet. I have two lambs and two piglets. If you had a chicken, I would have gone for that. All right, we'll worry about if I'm going to buy something from you later. All right, you can see I have a relationship of zero because we've never met before. Not in this incarnation. Um, what I need to do is I need to get tailoring. So I'm going to have to raise the relationship. So let's just throw stuff over here. Now, the relationship caps out at 100, so you will overflow, but I have 85, which is good. I can get two hits of uh, level two, I believe, right? All right, so there we go. So let's talk to her. Now, my relationship is 85, and training in two will be 40, so I can do that twice. And down here, training. There we go. Um, I'm guessing that I haven't reached it yet. All right, one more will get me that, which means I'm going to need a 40 and a 60. So if I could get to 100, that would be very useful. All right, let's talk to you again. I have some things for you. I'm starting off with a 5. That's 10, 40, 70. So I got 75. 95! That's absolutely perfect! All right, that's great. That means I got 100, which means... 100 down here, I can get tailoring 2, and then I can get tailoring 3. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of a mood issue, but I do have cigarettes. She's actually got a cigarette too. Maybe I'll just buy that one. All right, so let's load it up again because I do believe we are completely empty. And I need probably two hits of the 60. So, you know, obviously I don't have to fill it up. Uh, actually, go back here. All right, let's throw some of this stuff in here. Can I get it to like 90? 85 is fine. And 60. All right, so how are we doing? Yeah, three. Okay, so actually I'm done with three. I have to get four now. Right, okay, so I'm going to have to load you up again because I think I need 80 for that. Yeah, I need 80. All right, I got 25, so let's do some loading up. She likes me, then she doesn't like me, then she likes me, then she doesn't like me. 50, that's 75, that's not going to do the job. So that is going to give me 95. That's going to give me 95, so let's see. 80. All right, how are we doing? I'll probably need one more of those. The thing is, when you get to 5... My experience is that two will do the job, but you need a full 100 in order to do that. All right, I don't know if this is going to get me... Oh, hold on a minute. Wrong way. Got some things. So we've got 15. Oh, that's terrible. How much was that? 66. That's not enough. All right, so I'm going to have to dig into my reserve now. I think the first thing I want to get rid of is these big guns. So we'll get rid of these big guns. That one and that one. And we can throw the mod in there. Uh, that way that the uh, animals won't get any crazy ideas about the guns. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't really want any more than two. I don't even know if I'm going to do it myself. I might just have an NPC do it. But, you know, I'm here. That's the way I saw it. I was there. You know, what the heck? Just grab it. Now, there are some items around here. Is it in there? I don't remember where I left all of that stuff. It's not there. I got so many bags, I get confused. Is it there? Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's just grab some stuff here. That should do it. Hopefully. I'm back. Okay, so I think I currently have 66. I need 80. Uh, that's a serious overkill right there. That's overkill too. Let's see if there's something better or less expensive that I can throw in. How much do you want? 10? That's not enough. Uh, let's see. How about this? 60. Wow, I'm going to have trouble with this, ain't I? Yes, I am. This one? 70. You know what? How much you want for this? Okay, that's probably overkill as well. All right, I guess I'm going to have to go with what I saw here a moment ago, which was this. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to be overflowing. There's not much I can do. All right, so this should be the last of 80, right? Let me just verify that. Yep, yep, now I need 100. I have 20 at the moment. So, and also, I'm going to have to start having some cigarettes soon. Otherwise, the world is going to turn black and white on me. All right, uh, can I throw that in there? Yeah, I know it's overfill, but I don't care. Can you teach me something? Boom. Yes, everything is desaturating now. Excuse me a moment. Whoa, it's also getting bright. The colors, man, the colors. Hold it a second. I'm going to need two cigarettes for this. Yes, notice how it's saturated all of a sudden. There we go. And it is, of course, morning. And morning is for sunglasses. All right, so I think... Yeah, right. Okay, so I probably need one more. I'm hoping it's only going to be one more. All right, so let's see. Let's throw that in there. That's 72. Yeah, I'm going to have to just pick something to put in there. How much is that one? I mean, that's not too bad, actually. 30, and this one was... Um, 72. I only, I'm only over by two. So that's where that worked out pretty perfectly, didn't it? Okay, can you teach me something? Tailoring. Okay, now, can you teach me something? Tailoring. We're done. We're done. We're done. So I have a tailoring of five now, which means, of course, that I can now make... I don't have what I need to unlock it right now. So I need advanced parts, and I need the sewing machine, uh, schematic, of course. And then I can actually do fine fabric. See, this one only requires four, but the fine fabric requires um, five. So that's the reason I needed to go all the way to five. Besides, there's no reason not to. By the way, how am I feeling? Yeah, I don't need another cigarette. No reason to waste it. However, I am hungry. And I'm also feeling a little bit tired there, too. All right, there we go, and we'll put some water in our system, and then I'm going to throw all this back in the bag. Um, let me see here for a second. I know this is going to be overkill. Uh, do I, I, you know, I don't really need any cigarettes, because here's the thing. I only have, like, one thing left, and it's the medical. I mean, cooking, cooking just goes up. So I have medicine, I have, I think, 14 cigarettes. So, I mean, that's going to do the job. All right, I think it was this one. I should put a little sign on it. All right, everybody in there. Everybody in there. And then we can put that somewhere else. All right, so put this here, and then you can hold on to that. Yeah, right. I mean, I have 13 because I have a stack of nine in, uh, in addition to that. All right, let's get out of here without hurting myself or my vehicle. 
Yeah, if I had to visit a farming one, obviously I'd go to the other one because I could just do it on an oil pickup visit because it's right next to uh, where our oil well is. All right, let's go down here. So we're going to head down this road and see if we can find anything interesting. Not interesting scary, interesting in terms of good loot. All right, let's go. Okay, a little bit of a farming, pardon me, a fishing village, I'm guessing. Uh, those usually don't have terrific things. Or is that like a, um, well, what do we have here? I don't think I get anything good from there. I mean, the motels, motels are great for bags. I mean, at this point, I could probably go to my local motels because it's been so long since I've been there. It's just not something that I want to stop for. I have a lot of bag space. And this is one of the few beaches. So I'm guessing that's uh, for vacationers or something like that. Hey, there's a couple now enjoying the sun. Oh, and I think this would be worth a stop. What have you got? Okay, we got a little bit of wine. My thirst, you know what? She needs a little bit of fluid. She needs some mood. Why not? She's had a hard day. All right, where am I now? I'm here. Okay, so we got some stuff coming over here. A little bit of a farming location. You know, might be worth stopping in. The reason I say that is because the last time we stopped in one of these, we got a bunch of solar panels, if you know what I mean. All right, unfortunately, I didn't bring my sword with me. I had the... Uh, of course, I don't even know if there's a possibility of there being something mean here, if you know what I mean. All right, hold on. Hold still. Hold still. Hold his head still. Thank you. Oh, I missed it. Can you please hold your head still? Zombies can be so rude. Oh. Okay. Time to... There we go. Okay, I hear growling. All right, here we go. Boom, one shot. Now that is economical. You hold your head still and you save resources, right? Like that. All right, what do you got? You got nothing here? Okay, you got some stuff here. Uh, what do we got? I'll take those. And nutrient solution, very useful. Anything over here? Uh, that I don't need. That I'll just take. Yeah, I mean, I don't need those anymore. Okay, I think there's something on the inside. Oh, it looks like I did some activation. Seriously, can you just hold your head still? You're making it very hard to shoot you. That is just so rude. Okay, I'm hearing sounds from more than one direction. Maybe it's echoing around or something like that. Here, hold a second. There we go. All right, and you... You're going to jump. All right, and... I'm just going to hold still and wait until you're perfectly lined up. Okay, is a guy standing right there. Ah, uh, that might be a shooter. That is definitely a shooter, yep. All right. He had that long, lean, red burned look, if you know what I mean. Is there anything over here? All right, oh, let's check this one. Um, I can take that apart. I like that. Um, not worth the spot. I know I can get one uh, iron out of that. 
but it's just not worth it. Those are not searchable. All right, let's just let's just rush this along here. Okay, there's nothing in there. That's very disappointing. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, this building is very disappointing. Nothing here. Okay, I think you might be another shooter. Yep, yep, I was just about to say that. Yeah. I do believe I got him. Will you stop waving your head around like that? Very rude. Yeah, it's got that long, lean, uh, burned look to it there. Yeah, that right there. Right, anything here? We search this. All right, let's just very quickly. So far, this is not really paying off very well. Yeah, oil. Two things that I really don't want to be carrying with me right now because I do have a goodly amount of them. Anything? And so far, seeds are the only thing that I've actually gotten in here. Oh, that's a little bit more like it. Yeah, that's actually not so bad. I'm not going to take the motor. Nice 300 solar panel would be nice, just saying. Uh, steel crowbar. I could break that down for steel. All right, I'm going to leave that. Because I got a lot of them. Nothing here, nothing here. Do you know where the loot is? I guess it's too late to ask. I don't see anything lootable there. All right, well, at least I got some stuff there. A little bit of fuel, because it did burn some getting down here, right? Now, where did I leave my car? Oh, my pickup truck, I should say. Oh, it's all the way over there. All right, let's go. See if we can find something else. Put that away. All right, let's see here. First things first. Throw that in there. I think this is empty, so I can just throw some extra things in there. Yes, I can. And put the seeds in there, too. And a little extra food's not a bad idea. How much? Yeah, that, I think I need to have this one. Because I have a um, a carb issue. There we go. All right, let's throw that in. And let's head down the road. It was worth a look. Like I said, the last time we hit a, uh, a barn looking for seeds, we got solar panels. This time I went looking for solar panels, and I got seeds. What is this way? Where am I? Oh, I'm looking at the other side. It loops around. Okay, never mind. I was thinking, what's going off that way? Yeah, the whole road loops around. This is, I do believe, where the... Um, the little village that has the um, oil well is. And as you can see... Is that the one right there? Yeah, that I do believe is the one right there. Now, like I said, this would have been second place. Uh, one, you kind of have to jump over the bar there. You know, you can't really get close to it. But the issue is... I think you can already hear it. If you get close to this, you pull zombies away from that. Yeah, you can see some of them are actually aware of my presence, but they're having trouble getting over there. That's an interesting building I haven't seen before. So, I mean, if it wasn't for the other one, I probably would have used this one. 
If you're closer in proximity in the area, that's probably what you'd want to go with. It's just that you will use some bullets. See, he's already coming over here. Or is that a shoe? You know what? I don't want to do some shooting here, so we're just going to pack you up. Yeah, see, I have more coming here now. All right, let's just do this. And that wasn't because I drove by. Because I got the same thing when I came from this direction. Wow, you guys are tough. Because I shot you three times in the head. Yeah, so I mean, the thing is, the cost is going to be ammunition. But like I said, it is the second best. And if you are actually in the area, you know, probably the best one. All right, let's go. Right, and I do believe I'm making a turn here. Why are these intersections so messed up? What is the purpose of it? Is somebody not going to go around or something? Well, I mean, there are guardrails, I suppose, so you really can't easily go around. Just don't know, understand why they would be there. Right, so this is a big area right here. Okay, what do you have? Okay, so this could be interesting. Take a look at this. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to set off an alarm right now. Oh, that is not what I wanted to see. Okay, but you guys are all moving really slowly. I mean, do I even have to kill these guys? Hold still. I mean, they're all moving really slow. The thing is, I don't know if they see me. I know he sees me. I don't think the others see me, so I'd rather not draw their attention. All right, let's see. What do we got? Uh, we got nothing? I'll hit this row and come back the other way. Uh, I got nothing? So what my viewers are telling me is that since I've never been to an area like this or this particular area, it never loaded in which means it doesn't fall into the category of like... Oh! Okay, all of a sudden... Yeah, that was pretty stupid on my part, I suppose. I should have been realizing that I was going to be activating as soon as I moved in. No, you die. Big place. All right, let's see here. Grab that, grab that, grab that. See, this guy's got like a skull face. The only part of him is like a skeleton, is his face. See, hold on a second. See right there? Skull face. All right, this, this. We search this one, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll drop it if nothing else pops up. All right. Boom. Pigtails all over the floor. And we have more coming over here. Just looking. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that one spawned. Maybe it was the initial spawn. Grab that, grab that. Alright, I'd really rather not waste any more ammunition, so let's just grab the stuff and get out. I probably should grab that. Um, I don't need any more motors. Nothing there. I think this will be enough for now. We'll drive by and look at the rest of it and see if it's something we want to come back to, already we're seeing that it's pretty densely populated. All right. Have you been walking this whole time? Okay, I see pigtail. Boom. Uh, 
Up we go. Do I burn through a lot? Yeah, pretty much. But we got some stuff. Let me just check the uh, fuel. I can definitely put one of those in there. All right, we'll drive by and we'll keep an eye open. I don't think those would have anything. Besides, I would not risk a ladder. That's just not worth it. Okay, we have... I don't think there would be anything to loot there. Now, here, the buildings. This could be something worth looting. Those buildings usually have some good things. We have some more warehouses in the area. And we have a building very much like the one we just did. What I don't understand is these little gas pumps. Why don't they have gas in them? Or at least a chance. All right, that might be worth a visit coming back. But we'll save that for another day. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way all the way back to the base. And when we get there, we'll see how the fuel is going. I'm hoping that that particular device continues when we're away. See, the uh, the smelters, the, uh, the ones that you have to put, like, uh, burning stuff into. Unfortunately, if you leave the area, they keep burning the fuel, but they don't actually start continue doing the... Uh, the cooking of ingots and such like that. It doesn't work that way for the furnaces, though. The furnaces don't require fuel, so they don't run out. So they continue to make nuggets. So let's just head back and see if we have a whole bunch of extra fuel lying around. And we are home. So let's just go over here, pull in alongside the uh, car, which I still do use. If I go to the ore fields, generally speaking, I just grab the, uh, the car because I know it has empty bags in it. All right, let's see. All right, that one is still going. Okay, you processed everything. You processed everything. You as well. You're still working on iron. All right, so I want you to do more iron because you got a lot of it. So just make me lots of iron. All right, so let's see how we're doing up here. And it's still going. All right, it made a decent amount here. What I do want it to do is to make some of these, though. By the time it's done, it will be able to make two of them. So I'm just... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do that, but I know it's going to be able to. So here's what I'm going to do. Boom, boom. So in all the time we were away, that's what it made. Now, how is the power doing? I might need some... Okay, down. I really wish I could get her to stop doing that. I really, I was thinking putting a guardrail up or something like that because I really don't like that. Keep your acrobatics to yourself. Literally, I was thinking of putting a wall there, like a little like uh, half-height thing. Okay, so that's still going. That's still going. How's this going? Oh, wow. What we're producing with the solar, the thermal generator, and the fuel generator is more than the 3,000 watts of the chemistry station. And as a result, it's actually filling this battery. Cool. Anyway, I think that that's going to be it. So we have fuel production going. And that means that as long as we go and get some oil and we have the power to do it, we have as much fuel as we want. And I want a lot. I want a whole lot. If we're making a ton of it and this is going to be running electricity, I do want to be able to put some into the, uh, the fuel generator. That way we can keep it going until we have more solar panels. In the previous playthrough, I had three of them. I only have one at the moment. I want more. But I really do need the panels. That's the thing. And of course, we are now great at tailoring. So I think what we'll do in the next episode is we'll make the tailoring station and then see what we can make. I'm hoping that there was new recipes added to it. You know, clothing items, maybe good things that you can't buy or find. I think that'd be kind of cool. I think that a custom bag that's very expensive to make would be something I wouldn't mind either. But at very least, we'll be able to make as much um, of the fine fabric as we want so that I can start working on furniture in here. Because the little 
single bed isn't going to do the job. No, it isn't. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.